In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can use channel data to deliver channel specific functionality with Bot Framework. I'm just going to pull up the documentation so you can have a look at what this, what this means. You can see that for each channel, there's a number of specific messages that that channel might accept. For example, the email channel can accept a formatted email which is obviously specific to the email channel. It doesn't make sense to, to use an email template with um, Facebook Messenger or Slack or something like that. In the same way, Slack has custom messages. So you can control the layout of the, um, of the visual elements that you're creating in your bot using this channel data. Facebook Messenger has a similar idea and it has a number of cards that have been set up specific for Facebook Messenger that you can take advantage of. I'm just going to have a look at this one. They've created a number of templates for booking a flight, checking in for a flight and getting flight updates. So you can see here we're looking at a check-in reminder card to show to a user through a bot. And the way we deliver that to a user is to use this JSON payload, which has a template type of airline check-in. And it has the flight information built into the message, you know, with all the, the, the metadata about when the flight's leaving, when it's arriving and so on. And a link that the user can use to kind of actually complete the check-in process. What this means is we can use Bot Framework to actually deliver this message to the user to give them quite a rich experience. And it's quite easy to use that using the channel data. I've got an example here. The code will be available in GitHub for you after the video goes up, so you can take this and write your own um, channel-specific behavior. In this example, we are creating a new message. We're then creating an attachment using um, an anonymous type in C-sharp. And then we're just creating the payload using the same syntax that you saw in the example. So you can see we're building up a, a payload, which includes an airport that we're departing from an airport that we're arriving to, and a schedule. And then we just deliver that by using this channel data attribute on the message. We then send it back in, in the same way as any other message. Then the message will be displayed to the user. So I'm going to publish this out now and then show you what this looks like on, on a Facebook Messenger phone client. So I'm just going to start Facebook Messenger up now. I'm going to find my bot. I'm just going to send a test message to the bot just to kind of trigger it. And you can see it's gone off and it's generated a, um, a nice visual element for the user. So you could use this with resumption cookies to automatically provide this kind of visual feedback to the user um, when they're ready to check in. So hopefully you found this useful. Um, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.